I was just now thinking about different things that I do before I do a ritual of sorts or if I start crafting. Um, I feel like because most of the stuff I do is in my room or my garden, that I've sort of imprinted my energy on everything in here in the sense that like, because I sleep in here, sometimes I eat in here, I'm on the computer in here, I, my bathroom is right here, everything is here. All my possessions and everything are in this room. So I feel like my energy is all over the place and because I do cleansing and stuff regularly, I feel like I've already created a circle in a sense here. Um, but sometimes before I do a ritual, because I don't have a bath, I will um, pour different herbs and stuff into a bowl and pour it over my body, depending on, like bath salts, my milk baths, things like that. Um, or there's another thing that I do, I forgot where I learned it from, but like if you're in the city and stuff, I know a lot of times they'll say, I use fresh spring water or something. So some people will buy the bottles of that say spring water and, and things like that. But I like moving water. And even though the water from the sink isn't moving from a stream straight to your sink, I feel like it's still moving. So what I'll do sometimes before I start working on something is that I'll hold my hands underneath it and imagine the water kind of flowing through them and pulling all the, like, the gunk out of me, if that makes sense. Um, I also like to cleanse everything, but it's really hard to burn incense, uh, traditional incense in my home. Because there's so much smoke and I do have a nine-year-old sister and a very sensitive mom, so um, the smoke kind of bothers them. So I try to either burn just a little bit and sage just a tiny bit so the smell doesn't permeate everything too much, or I try to do things when they're not home and then right when I'm done start putting all the little fans and getting that out of here. I mean, she does like the smell of like uh, certain herbs and whatnot, but there's some things that are just a little too powerful. Uh, and smell and the smell that they create and then um so i know some people do the baths pure ritual baths some people meditate some people work with crystals and whatnot i want to know what you do before you start a ritual if you actually create a circle or, or your thoughts on that as well but um right now i have a crystal that was in one of the boxes that i had packed to move and a friend gave it to me a long time ago. It's this huge chunk of uh, quartz crystal. I have it in a bowl right now that I poured running sink water over. I put it on cold and I poured it over it until the, it filled the whole bowl and it was covered. Then I sprinkled salt with a little blessing over it and I'm letting it sit in there to kind of pull all the icks out of it that it might have picked up being in the box and being in a different room and everything from like people coming in the house and whatnot because the room that it was in was right near the entrance. And it's right near the front of the house. So there's a lot of different people's energy over there. And I'm going to be using that on my altar tonight when I do a little working that I have planned. Um, and also, I like to clean my altar before I use it. When I had my working altar, I would always clean it constantly. I mean, my the altar that I would create things on for uh, the well and spindle. My personal altar, some, I'm not constantly working on stuff. There's not that much that I really feel like I need. So I'm not constantly just... I'll throw... Um, offerings and stuff into the little bowl I have there. I'll burn incense sometimes on it, but it tends to collect dust because in San Diego it's very dry. I live in a desert basically, so we get a lot of dust here and then also the residue from the, all the stick incense I burned. I mean like the ash and whatnot. I don't know how it floats over onto my altar, but it does. So I like to clean off my altar right before I do a ritual as well. And I'm not the type of person that when I do rituals I don't call the quarters or anything. I basically just focus my intent and then just kind of go into it right away. Because I'm, when I do a ritual, I don't usually pre-plan things. It's like all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I need to do this now. I want to do this. And then I'll start doing it. Um, I mean, there's sometimes big rituals or things that I know I'm going to want to do in the future. So I'll buy supplies and whatnot for them. And then like a couple months later or whatnot, I'll get that urge. Okay, this is the right time. And I jump into it. But uh, going off topic, like always, pre-ritual rituals <laughs> in a sense. So I incorporate water a lot into mine, basically, because I am a Cancer Leo cusp and I'm really connected to water, even though like with images and when I go out, I usually want to go towards earth based things. I mean, like a soil, dirt, green things, stuff like that. But when I get near the water, I'm just like, I, water, water. <laughs> I feel like this overwhelming urge to throw myself in, like it's part of me. But um, anyway. Maybe that's why I always use water. I feel like it's a really strong, powerful, good force to use, kind of a good element. And it can be connected to anything, basically, that I'm working with. But, um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. And thank you for watching my video already. And then say goodbye.